Hi guys and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. We have just, oh, it smells very strong here. We have just arrived to a very interesting place in the town of uh, Anjar in Lebanon. So we are in Beldet Anjar, Beldet Anjar. And we are in a shop, uh, in a place where women, older women, prepare in a traditional way tomato jam and uh, pepper paste. As you can see, this place is full of lots of lots of lots of peppers all around the place so as we said in the shop these this is flayfle hamra flayfle hamra and there we have lots of tomatoes and that's banadura ladies and women come here not just by the paste but also they can pick up like good quality tomato and uh, pepper which is banadura or flayfle i'm gonna turn my camera and show you what exactly they are doing so as you can see, the ladies here are preparing things in a very traditional way. So here we have... <coughs> the smells really strong. Here we have the paste that is boiling. So let's start by saying El flayfle, the paste. El flayfle am tigli. Am btigli. is it boils. Am tigli. It is boiling. I want to say the fire is very strong. Innar, Innar, pronounced as Innar, Innar, Ktir, Ktir, Awiye, Innar, Ktir, Awiye. The fire is very, very strong. And I want to say they are preparing the paste. Am bihadru, Am bihadru, Rib el banadura. Rib means jam or paste. Rib el banadura, the paste of the tomato, or as well they are preparing the paste of pepper, which is rib el har. So rib el banadura is tomato jam. Rib el har is pepper paste. Let me show you more around. I don't know if you can hear the ladies, but they have a different accent, a little bit different than us. So, I want to say she is cutting the paste, um, sorry, not the paste, the pepper, which means she is cutting. But us is she cuts, she is cutting the peppers, and here she is washing the peppers. She is washing the peppers. She is washing the peppers. And I want to say here, they are boiling the peppers because it's plural. Birlo is the plural form of to boil. They are boiling. And I want to say the smell is very strong. And I want to pronounce el riha as in el riha with a liaison. El riha ktir awiye. We have here coal. We say fahem. Fahem means coal. Fahem. Haida fahem. This is coal. And let me show you the end result with here the moms, the ladies. By the way, this is like an Armenian town. That's why you hear a lot of people speaking Armenian, not just Arabic. So this is the end result. اوكي شو عندنا هون هيدي شو انا تفاح هيدا خل التفاح هيدا دبس رمان دبس ر... هيدا دبس الرمان هيدا دبس الرمان هيدا زعتر بري اوكي زعتر بري از لايك وايلد تايم زعتر بري خل التفاح از فينيجر ابل سايدر فينيجر عندنا هون هي شو هيدو هيدول انواع زبيب انواع مينز تايبس انواع Types. No means type. The plural is anwe types. And here like we have makdus. Okay, makdus batenjen. Here we have makdus batenjen. Makdus batenjen. Here we have like juice, tomato oh, juice. Yeah. Asir banadura. Yeah. Eh, asir banadura, which is the juice. Asir is juice, but this is paste, so we say uh, rib el banadura. So th these are asir banadura. This is rib el banadura. We have a lot of them here. Rib el banadura. Hey, the na na yebis mint, dry mint. Na na yebis. 
And here we have pepper powder, which we call budrat flayf liharra. Budra, which is powder. We say it, we, we took the word from English or French. Budra. Again, this is, what's this? This is the paste of the, of the pepper. So, and it has also inside kizbara. 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 And the, this is jam. What jam is this? Uh, this is apricot jam, so uh, mishmush. We say mishmush, uh, and this is uh, teen. Okay, mishmush and teen. Mrabba al mishmush wa mrabba teen. Wa hayda al abiyat shu. What's this white? Hayda al abiyat shu. Hayda shu. Hayda leban matbuch. Leban maize matbuch. Leban is yogurt. Maize is goat. Matbuch is cooked. Laban Mazi Matbuch. I think that's it for today. Let me turn my camera and talk to you. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the end result of the work, as we said. And here the ladies are happy buying them. Hi, mom. Hi, Tonsola. Hi, Madam. Hi, Manoush. So it's a very, very interesting place. Maybe probably one of the few traditional places that are left in Lebanon with, uh, in the way they prepare things traditionally. Um, let me show you a very, very quick look around. Look how she's carrying the wood. So that's Hatab. Hatab. So, so if you notice, I just said when I was just talking to her. May God give you health. We say this to someone when they are putting an effort, maybe they're, they're doing hard work and they're using their hands, their body, or maybe they're studying hard or working hard. So I say because she's a lady. And when I said it in the plural, I said So if it's feminine, if it's masculine, and if it's plural. He gives you, but it means may he give you. And there is the word Allah, which we are not using. Basically, we mean may God give you, but we don't use the word Allah. We can say it, Allah yatikun alafiyah, but usually we would just say yatikun alafiyah, the health. That's it for today. Thank you very much and shukran. Ma salimi. Bye. Bye. Ma salimi. Bye. Bye. Wusil. Wusil. So she said Selme, I said Wusil, which means say hi, and I just say it arrived. Even if I don't know who's the hi to or, or who she means I should say hi to, but we just say it like that in Lebanon. We just say Selim, and the other person says Wusil, say hi, and then we say it arrived to the people, but we, we don't even know who are the people, but we just say it out of politeness. Thank you again, I said thank you like 10 times. Ma salama. <laughs>